Welcome to the Weekly Wind On, a recap of the biggest news, latest reviews and best advice from MCN. Head to MotorcycleNews.com for full details of the stories mentioned and then have your say in the comments section. Remember to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future instalments. Ducati are celebrating 30 years of the Monster with a special edition dripping in high-end parts and upgrades. The limited run Anniversario gets a patriotic trickle or paint job but the changes run much deeper than that. You get top drawer Olin suspension, Brembo style Mc brakes, gold forged rims with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 4 tyres, carbon mud guards and a Terminioni exhaust too. This week major industry groups called on the government to do something about the UK motorcycle licensing and testing system. Changes to the system were actually agreed six years ago but are yet to materialise something the Motorcycle Industry Association condemns. Their Director for Safety and Training, Karen Cole, told MCN, there's no more time for excuses, we need to crack on. Kawasaki revealed that they will be reviving the Super Team Race category for 2024 with a grid full of ZX4RR machinery. The bikes will duke it out with fresh young talent aged between 15 and 20 on board as a support race in the BSB calendar. The bikes themselves are being race prepped in partnership with MSS Performance and costs less than £12,000 plus VAT, so it offers a comparatively cheap way to go racing. The Yamaha R1 turns 25 this year, and the Japanese firm are celebrating with a GYTR Pro model with similar spec to Toprak's actual World Superbike machine. From the carbon subframe and World Superbike specific underslung swing arm through to the Magneti Morelli ECU, the bike is said to be as close as you can get to riding a World Superbike without a factory contract. Just 25 will be built with a price tag of €159,000. And finally, we've been hunting down the best sports touring tyres on the market right now in a blind back-to-back -back road test. Using a Suzuki GSX S1000 GT as the test mule, we took the top sports touring offering from six major brands to see which would come out on top. You can read the full test online now. Thanks for watching the Weekly Wind On. Join us next week for another episode, hit like and subscribe and make sure you don't miss it.